Well, the eyes of the college football world will be focused on Brookings this weekend when ESPN broadcasts its college game day from the SDSU campus. Local law enforcement will also be paying close attention to see that the celebrating doesn't get out of hand. As Cover Lands Perry Groton reports tonight, it takes a lot of teamwork between campus and Brookings police, along with the sheriff's deputies and the highway patrol, to make sure everyone stays safe. The college game day equipment trucks parked at SDSU are an on-campus curiosity among students anticipating the big game against top-ranked North Dakota State. I think it's so cool coming to Brookings, South Dakota, and it's a big deal for both schools. The big crowds on Saturday will include extra deputies from the Brookings County Sheriff's Department who will be watching the tailgaters. The county will also have more jail staff on duty. There'll be some arrests, yes, um, but... Do we anticipate any big problems? Absolutely not. Um, we, we just need to be prepared. The highway patrol will conduct a saturation on Saturday, looking out for drunk drivers. You may see uh, those situations where people make poor choices and we have impaired drivers out there, but that's why um, we'll have extra troopers in the area. Students appreciate the heavy law enforcement presence in and around their campus. It's a smart idea, obviously, for any game, but and then obviously for rival schools. Law enforcement says they'll approach Saturday's activities much like they would a typical Hobo Day homecoming. Only this time, an entire country will be watching. In Brookings, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Traffic control will also be a priority for law enforcement, especially with so many fans driving from North Dakota. Authorities are reminding drivers to watch out for farm equipment on the roads because of the late harvest, and they're urging everyone to be patient on their way to and from the stadium.